A CCD is made up of a whole lot of small capacitors. So each one of these is a small capacitor. A capacitor is a device that can store charge and simplest form are just two parallel plates. And what happens is if you get a charge buildup across those plates by whatever means, so you will get a potential difference across them. So if this for instance is positive on this side and this is negative, you've got a potential difference across there and um, this is related to the charge. And this is a simple capacitor. The formula for it is that you have your capacitance is equal to your charge and we'll use a small q for that divided by V, your voltage, or V is going to equal the charge divided by your capacitance like that. Now um, what actually happens is that light shines onto these small capacitors. Each, each one of these small capacitors is a pixel. So each one is a pixel and light shines down light shines on these and due to the action of light we have the photoelectric effect so you have electrons um, jump off or move and they, this material is made up of silicon which allows the flow of electrons in one direction it's the semiconductor and so you get a buildup of charge so you've got light coming in here and electrons jump off or move and are stored so you get a buildup of charge and from that you get a potential difference being formed. Now the number of photons that are coming on will lead to the emission of electrons and the greater number of photons that you have will lead to a greater number of emission of electrons and so you will have that your intensity of your light, your intensity of your light will be proportional to the charge difference that has actually been built up across there. So if you increase the intensity, you increase the charge buildup and therefore it's also proportional to your voltage. So what happens is across each one of these little capacitors over here, across each one of these capacitors, you you get a charge buildup, you get a potential difference and so you will have a certain voltage here, maybe voltage 1, voltage 2, voltage 3, voltage 4. With these voltages all giving an indication of the amount of light that has hit them. Then what happens is that these voltages are read off systematically so both the position and the voltage is noted. This voltage is put into a digital form. So it's put into a digital form therefore in zeros and ones and the position is noted and that voltage therefore gives an indication of the amount of light in each one of these pixels over here and from that overall from the whole um, CCD um, by noting the light in each one the image can be formed. Now one or two important points is that two points if you've got an image that's formed for it to be resolved you need two parts of that image to be at least two pixels apart. So if we have got a, an object that we are wanting to distinguish, if we want to distinguish between two points on that object they need to be two pixels apart. If they're just one pixel apart it is too close. 